to tell us more about these incredible images. We are joined by Professor Lero Todi, who is from the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of the Western Cape. Prof, a good morning to you. Thank you so much for giving us your time. I know just how busy you are. These incredible images coming out of NASA, and we're going to have them up on the screen soon, but tell us what exactly it is we're looking at and why these images are so special, Prof. Uh, thanks, Naledi. Um, yes, these are really spectacular uh, images. Um, they are of a star-forming region. And um, on the left um, there, we are seeing an earlier image from the Hubble Space Telescope. And then on the right, and the new uh, image here we are seeing is from the um, James Webb Space Telescope. Um, the region is of a star forming, uh, you know, uh, area in the cosmos, as I uh, said, uh, and you said, mm -hmm. and I like to think of it as um, just uh, clouds that fall, that form stars compared to um, our uh, own clouds here on Earth that form rain. Um, and um, so that is, uh, you know, um, the most similar uh, thing that you can think of when you think of these. Mm. That's fascinating, the idea of clouds in space that that give birth to stars. And I know that in that image we are, we are able to see some of the youngest stars, perhaps uh, tell us, is that in our galaxy? Um, and if we're talking about some of the youngest stars, how young are we talking about? Ah, a brilliant question. So um, what the newer, uh, um, James Webb Telescope image is able to do is penetrate through this uh, dust and show us, uh, as you mentioned, some of the newer stars and even stars uh, beyond. And um, so um, some of the uh, young stars would be some of the uh, bigger uh, stars uh, known to us, much bigger than our own uh, sun. Um, we are still talking um, average ages uh, in, in the scale of a million of years. Um, uh, however, we are talking about the pro a process that is still ongoing. Mm. So this particular image is um, 6,500 light years away. We are seeing it as it was back then. But if we went there today, we might see all this molecular clouds completely collapsed, for example, and all um, just filled with a nursery of uh, young stars at the mm -hmm. moment. Um, so they could be uh, some very, very, uh, you know, as young as we are talking now to a, a few million years. Okay. Well, that's uh, it's interesting that some of our youngest stars are a few million years old. Um, but if we look at the example of what we know as a star, our sun, right, obviously a solar system and us, of course, uh, orbiting the sun um, as a planet, as do all the other planets in our, in our uh, solar system. With these stars that we're looking at in this image of the pillar of creation or the pillars of creation, what are the possibilities that there are solar systems and other little Earths in that image that we are looking at? Ah, the uh, possibilities are, are quite uh, immense. At the same time, I think it's important uh, to make uh, this particular point. Our own sun is about uh, 5 billion uh, years old. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot more uh, than a, a million. And um, it is when, you know, uh, a star uh, uh, has formed and uh, uh, evo uh, further evolved to form not only a, a solar, uh, a young solar system, mm -hmm. but a solar system with particular planets that you might have something similar to our own um, right. solar system. Right. Uh, in this particular image, you might have solar systems themselves still forming. Right. Yeah, well, Prof, let's leave it there. Fascinating indeed. And thank you so much for bringing us that very insightful story. Professor Lera Todi Leo speaking to us there from the University of the Western Cape, really bringing us some interesting images, right, of oh, the formation images. of stars. Incredible, <laughs> incredible what we're able to achieve.